Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I am Bearded Dev and today we're going to be talking about concatenate. So what are we going to be looking at in this video? We're going to be looking at working with character strings, how to concat without concat and how to use concat. First of all I'm just going to run a query against my bookshop database. I've got a table in there called customers, only a small table so we'll just run that query. Now we're going to be looking at concatenating data today uh, and what does that mean? That is basically combining character strings. Um, so it's better to show you with an example. So if I look at my table here I've got a first name of Michael and a last name of Smith. Now I might want to set a result where I want to combine those names into one column and use that data somehow. Now both of these columns are character strings so let's have a look at one way we can do that and this is a way you may have come across before and it's just simply using the plus symbol so what we're going to do we're going to select our column c first name and c last name uh, so we'll just write a query that returns those so as we can see there we've got those two columns there at the moment so what we're going to do is take out the comma and we're just going to put a plus in there so we're telling sql to combine those two character strings. We run that. Uh, we don't have a column name, so I'll just give that column a name and I'll just call that full name. And um, we run that query. Now, as we can see, uh, the two columns have been combined, but we would like a space in between the two names. So we're going to add in here, uh, we're going to add an apostrophe. A space then an apostrophe and another plus so now we're telling SQL we want to get the first name and we want to combine that with a space and then the last name column as well and we want to call that column the results full name from our customers table so let's execute that and there we have it uh, that is effectively using concat without using concat so that's just using the plus symbol and a space to build a string one thing i want to mention though is the danger of this so if i just open up my columns in the customer table as we can see the first name is variable character string of 50 and the last name is a variable character string of 50 but let's say we want to combine two integer columns. So we've got two here, we'll use uh, CID as customer ID and we'll add that to, I uh, don't have another integer column in this table. Let me just have a look at the books table. Yes, we do. So let's just move on to this table. We can have PID plus p stock they're both integer columns even though stock is just a tiny hint because I didn't expect that number to be that high uh, that limits us to I believe it's a range of minus 255 to 255 uh, so we'll just say from books and um, we'll give this a name as result and we'll run that query and that's not quite the result we was expecting. We were expecting two numbers to be combined together. So something isn't quite right with this query. And it's because when working with integer columns or any of the number types, SQL recognises that and will change that plus to be a mathematical plus rather than a character string plus. So the standard way of doing this is to use the built-in concat function and how we do that is I will just run exactly the same query again concat 
we open brackets and as we can see here we've got it on the screen it knows we're using concat and that wants a comma separated list within the brackets of expressions so we're going to enter those now so a bit different to using the plus symbol so let's run these two queries at the same time and as we can see we've got completely different results so the first one is adding our ID to our stock to give us one number the second one is actually just pushing those two numbers together to give us the result let's just remove those from the screen and go back to the first query so let's use the concat function here uh, by the way the concat function is ANSI standard so anytime you need to do this it is recommended to use that function like we've seen the plus and using that to build a character string can cause problems um, there may be like you want to add a house number to a first line of address now if you're trying to add an int to a character string using the plus symbol will fail you can get around that by casting the integer as a character string but it's always best just to use the concat function um, so we're going to build that in the same way uh, so the concat function is standard across all versions of SQL so if you're not working with Microsoft's version you might be on Oracle um, then the concat function should still apply so we're going to give it a comma rated comma separated list of expressions so as we can see we also want a space in between the names so we're going to enter that here within apostrophes to indicate it's a character string and then we're just going to put C last name on the end close our brackets because those are all the columns that we want to concat as full name from customers and if we run that we can see we've got the results as intended so if we run the same as the these two we can see they are exactly the same because we're working with two column types that are character strings when working with any other any number types then we can get into a bit of a problem another benefit of concat as well is that it's just simply easier to write so if we wanted to combine a large amount of columns so let's just select every single thing from this table now I'm just going to drop a colise on here just to say if they haven't got a middle name or the middle name's null then we will return a blank string rather than null causing us issues with our query uh, just for speed I'll just throw a few of these together uh, so I'll just run that now you can imagine if I wanted to combine this I'm gonna have to put plus CID plus first name plus Coley's middle name plus last name plus first line plus second line and it can get a bit messy or I could just simply add the word concat here open the brackets close that at the end of the columns we want to return oh, I'm missing a comma just enter that in run that query and we've got them all combined if we wanted to we can put the spaces in between um, so again just open the apostrophe put a space close it just to indicate I'll just do one for this example and we run that we haven't got the given this column a name as a result so we can run that again and there we go we've returned everything it's a lot easier to manage if you're going to be concatenating large volumes of columns so sort of uh, maybe address you could have a house name or number first line of address second line of address you could have their 
their city, their county, their country, their postcode. So if you want to write out all those columns, I would always suggest using Concat because it's ANSI standard, will work across any platform you're using for SQL querying. Uh, but you may come across areas if you're looking at store procedures or any objects within an existing database where the plus is used. That does exactly the same thing as long as you're working with character strings that wouldn't cause you an issue. Okay guys then just to recap what we've covered in this video working with character strings uh, we've learned how to to concatenate, we've learned how to concat without concat uh, which is just using the plus symbols and how to use the the built-in concat function. Thanks for watching, if you like the video please do give it a thumbs up, feel free to leave any comments below and do subscribe to the channel for all upcoming videos. Thank you.